everyone, Glenn with the Toy Temple, and today we're going to look at Marvel's Shocker from the Build-A-Figure Marvel Sandman wave, and uh, I'm really excited. I'm, uh, I really like how this figure looks already inside the box, so I can't wait to see what he looks like outside of it. Let's take a look. And here is Shocker out of the package, and he looks really good. I'm really impressed with this figure. You can, I mean, you can already see the black and uh, yellow little diamonds all over them. Obviously they just made a yellow figure and uh, hashed it out with the black lines, but man, they could have just left that blank, but they didn't. And I really appreciate it. You got the, uh, the brown going across it. You got the little lightning bolt symbol right there, which is great. The knee pads are stuck on. And those are, uh, those are cool. I just, I appreciate those. The uh, little gauntlets are fantastic. Those are stuck on the arms really well. Just really adding to the figure. On his eyes, I really appreciate the fact that they didn't make him have, you know, the iris. They're just blank, which I think is really cool. Just kind of gives him that, you know, unearthly look. Really just evil. Shocker did come with two accessories. Um, the you know, I asked on Instagram what these were called. Nobody really had a, a name. They're just called Marvel uh, Effects, is what most people call them. Hopefully someone down there in the comments can tell me what these are. Because I would say my biggest complaint with the figure is I wish these were more lightning-y. Uh, I mean, they pack these things in with just about everybody. Why not dress it up a little bit? Make them have like little bolts coming off of them. I've never seen Shocker use little orbs it's always lightning i mean that's why he's got it on the belt use lightning not these not these guys shocker being one of the sinister six along with let's see doc ock mysterio craven vulture shocker obviously and uh scorpion yeah that's sinister six nailed it um yeah he appeared in marvel's uh cinematic universe the spider-man homecoming movie where he was kind of the underboss to Vulture, because I like the idea of Shocker. He seems, I mean, he is a good bad guy. He's not a main event type of guy. Then again, I thought the same thing about Vulture, and boy, did he deliver, didn't he? All in all, just a spectacular figure. Probably one of my favorites from this uh, Sandman wave. Really enjoy the, uh, the paint apps. These are the Marvel effects. Not my favorite, wish they were more lightning based um the paint i just can't get over how well they painted this one uh so yeah if you see it pick it up definitely gets a, a a thumbs up for me speaking of thumbs up like that video subscribe share it and uh check us out on twitter and instagram at the toy temple and remember you're never too old to enjoy the things you love